Now, we often see some strange stuff in the world of Super Mario, aside from the bipedal turtles and mushroom people. And sometimes we come across something that's really odd, something that we don't really understand and certainly can't explain. And for a very long time, the paintings seen in the Super Mario games were a complete mystery to me. I didn't understand how you could fit entire worlds like bob Battlefield into one of them, or people like Toad and Princess Peach. However, after doing a bit of research, I actually found out how they work. And so today, we will talk about that. So let's jump in, in order to find out what kind of dark secrets these paintings hold. And I have to warn you, some of this is kind of depressing. Now, let's start by looking at the paintings themselves in order to get an idea of what they can do and what they can't do. Now, they were first seen in Super Mario 64 inside the hub world called Peach's Castle, as we all know. And their role in the game is to transport you to the different worlds where you can collect all kinds of power stars in order to defeat Bowser. They are seen all over the castle and they lead to gigantic worlds that we have never really seen before. Now, after this game, we saw them again in another title called Super Mario Odyssey. However, in this game, they have a completely different role. They now function as some sort of portal between two locations in the world. So their function is sort of similar, there's still a gateway between certain locations, however now you're just going from point A to B on the exact same world. They're not really your main way of getting to a certain location, because you can always fly there. They are scattered across the world and usually you need to find them. And when you find one, you can jump through and get to an inaccessible location in a completely different kingdom. And usually you'll find a power moon here. However, this isn't all. They're also seen inside of Peach's castle and around it. But these have a completely different role. They lead to a tougher version of a boss you've already beaten. So they are kind of an extra challenge. However, so far we've only talked about their role in the Super Mario games. And that franchise isn't the only one they're seen in. They are also seen in the Luigi's Mansion series, where they do something completely different once again. In these titles, King Boo uses them to lock people inside of them as a way of imprisoning them. So clearly you can do a lot of different things with the paintings seen in the Mario franchises. However, did we ever get any information on how they actually work? Well, yes. We actually got some information at the very start of Super Mario 64, but most people don't actually know about this. The toad seen at the main doors when you enter the castle actually tells us the following. The paintings were created by Bowser to create his own worlds using the power stars in order to keep the toads and Princess Peach captive. This explains the motives of Bowser, like why he created them and also what their true purpose is. Clearly they are some sort of empty vessels and you can do anything with them. For example, you can do something quite small scale like locking somebody inside of one like King Boo does, or you create entire worlds inside of them, which is on a way bigger scale. Now, both King Boo and Bowser are masters at dark magic, and we've seen them use it many times before. To enlarge themselves, create illusions, curse people, and so much more. And sometimes using an item, like this painting, can help them with one of their spells. We've seen them use wands and potions before in order to gain more power, or to pull something off. So in a lot of ways, they can do whatever they want with them. However, there is a dark side to it all. As you can imagine, there's always a price to pay when using dark magic. Now, we all love the painting scene in Super Mario 64, right? We all have fond memories of characters like Koopa the Quick, the cute little bomb scene in Babom Battlefield, and a lot of other things. However, there is one thing horribly wrong with them. Do you remember what the Toad told us? The paintings were created by Bowser to create his own worlds, using the power stars of the castle in order to keep Princess Peach and the Toads captive. This sentence already tells us that the worlds seen inside of these paintings 
probably didn't exist before that. And so, without the stars, the worlds will most likely end. And Mario takes those during the entire adventure. So there's a pretty good chance that those worlds ended or collapsed in some way after the end of the game. They lost their source of power. And even if you bring them back, if the paintings get destroyed, the worlds will most likely end as well. That's the dark twist. Destroying the painting or the source of its power will be the end of it. And this also goes for King Boo. If Peach is trapped inside of a painting and King Boo is defeated or the painting is destroyed, she might be gone forever. So while the paintings and the world seen inside of them are pretty cool, in the end it's all hollow. It's not real. So while we all love these worlds, we will probably never see them again. And that's because paint really doesn't last forever. We've already seen that in a game like Super Mario Sunshine. In this game, Bowser Jr. uses a magical paintbrush and creates some sort of goopy paint creatures. However, if you destroy them or the source of their power, they are gone forever. They will just dissolve. So all of this clearly tells us that these worlds weren't meant to last forever. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, the bell button, tell me in the comments what you think about the video, the whole shaz and kabang. Also check out my Twitter and Instagram, I post funny stuff on there and updates on what I'm doing. So um, do that please, thank you. Mwah.